Thanks so much for joining me on this call, Kate. Uh, as you know, many of our people are now having to work from home in this lockdown. And um, I know that you love spreading optimism as much as I do. So I thought we could share some of our tips for staying optimistic, upbeat and engaged. Thanks so much, Kelly. Um, I agree with you. I think that um, staying optimistic is so important at these times and finding ways that you can do that in whatever your circumstances are working from home it's really is a bit of a challenge um for me i get a lot out of staying connected to my team and i we, we're all doing it online now which makes it a little bit harder but being able to stay connected through the tools that we've got and the resources that we've got available to us uh, making sure that we're speaking a little bit more than we might do otherwise making the effort to pick up the phone rather than email as we might have done in other circumstances and really trying to make those personal connections and finding out how people are doing, making a bit of time to ask them before you launch into the work, work question, how are things going at home? How's your setup been today? And laughing about the disasters that uh, we all have many times over a day, <laughs> juggling all the things that people are doing. Yeah, and I think it's important not to just focus on the negatives of being disconnected from people, but also some of the positives, getting to meet some people's dogs, hearing their family in the background, um, and, and also just it's a lovely opportunity to check in and ask people how they're going, are they okay? And that's not just up to the managers, you can do it with your colleagues. I've had people from all over the organization reach out, send me text messages, which has been really lovely and heartwarming. I think for me, what really gets my energy up is, is going for a walk or spending time with the family. But I also know there's a lot of people out there who are on their own and maybe don't have um, family around and are feeling quite isolated. Do you have any tips or suggestions for people who find themselves in that position? Look, it's a great point, Kelly, and I think when we all come to work together, we often don't think about those sort of personal circumstances and how different they are and how they might actually impact people at this time. So I think you're absolutely right about staying connected and being thoughtful about people's personal circumstances and making that connection, not being afraid to ask and zero in and sort of uh, express your understanding and concern. But of course, there are lots of resources out there for people as well. Um, places uh, like Beyond Blue and other sorts of government organisations where there are people there who, who people can talk to and pick up the phone. Um, I think it's really important to acknowledge that for people who are living alone, that actually the only conversations they can have all day are about work <laughs> um, or, you know, or, or perhaps with friends or family who might also be struggling. And so finding another outlet for people to talk to, there's plenty of resources that are, that, that are out there um, that people should be tapping into. As somebody who uh, lacks a lot of discipline to stop working, I think some of the Optus features like Optus Pause really enable me at the end of the day to say, right, that's it. Uh, I do have to walk away from the screen from sitting here, which I'm doing hours and hours a day. And yeah. uh, just putting everything on pause uh, enables me to sort of get that distance, maybe do some reading, watch something on Netflix and just get that uh, relaxation and, and opportunity to switch off. Absolutely. And, and while we're on it, Optus Fitness is another great way to do that with a range of things from high energy workouts right the way through to, um, you know, the quieter, more meditative activities as well. So I think having those sorts of uh, tools available to everybody uh, who's an Optus customer and of course our people is really powerful. That's fantastic to hear. I think another thing that really gets me going is just constantly anchoring back to our purpose which is to power optimism with options. And in these times, it's a great reminder that we are providing people with options just through our connectivity, options to do their schooling from home, to work from home, to connect with their loved ones through things like Call Translate. If you're feeling down, don't sit there and wallow, reach out, ask someone else how they're doing. Um, nothing helps a, a down mood like helping out somebody else and, and really making a difference. So uh, thanks again for the chat. Great. Thank you.